exciting stuff in studio because I think our dogs are taking over literally in studio. Next to me, Donne. Wow, what do we have here? We've got two Dobermans, or three Dobermans, two puppies and an adult, and one is the brown and one is the black, and all the other two are black and tan. I, I just learned exactly 20 seconds ago that I'm actually holding the puppies and that is the mom. That's correct, yes. But I, I thought this is what a pincher looks like. No, no. no, these are Dobermans. Okay. They're not dogs, they're Dobermans. Okay. Tell me about Dobermans and the origin. How, how, how do we know this is actually a Doberman? I didn't... Look at what he's doing. Hey. <laughs> Tell me about okay. Dobermans. Dobermans were... Um, sort of invented by Herr Louis Doberman. Um, he was a tax collector in Germany in a polder, and obviously being a, a job like a tax collector, he needed something that was going to guard and protect him. So he was in charge of the pound as well, so he had access to a lot of different breeds, and he bred himself the Doberman. So they're a relatively new, new breed of dog, just over 100 years old, 120 years old, and that's what we see today as the Doberman. Now, I had a chance to play with the mum earlier. What's her name? Checkpoint Charlie. Okay, a very long name, but um, the, the, uh, temperament and personality. You know, we always have the idea that Dobermans are quite excitable or even uh, sometimes vicious dogs. Vicious is just not in their temperament. They right. are protective and they're the ultimate garden companion dog. So we're actually looking at them from um, being an absolute garden companion dog and being the protector of the family. An aggressive Doberman is not what you're looking for at all. Why would a dog become aggressive? Because I would imagine that Dobermans need people around them all the time. Dobermans are not dogs that you can just leave in the backyard and hope that they're going to get on with things. They want to be interactive, they want to be part of the family, they want to be guard and protective of the family as such. So they require a lot of energy, well they require a lot of training and they do require a lot of exercise. Okay, well I know and I've learned now that you have 18 dogs at home. Okay. How do you take care of their health? Is there anything that we should know in terms of their health and and uh, what happens in their life expectancy? Um, life expectancy with a Doberman is about 10 years, 10 years of age. They're a large breed dog. So nutrition is very important to them. Yeah. Um, they get exercise extra extensively and they get played with and trained with a lot. Otherwise, they do become very destructive and barking and noisy. So they're really not a dog that you're just going to leave in the backyard. They have to be part of the family. And, and grooming, I mean, how often do they need attention? Very little. Um, they shed a little bit of hair, yeah. um, but they're very easy. If they do get a bit stinky once in a blue moon, you can give them a bath. Um, otherwise, to take a, da a damp towel and just wipe it over them and fix up the coat, um, that's, the, that's basically it. Very healthy dogs. Now, just looking at the puppies, I can tell that they grow to be really big dogs. Are they that's easy right. to handle? Um, they can get adolescent and they can get quite juvenile and quite naughty. That's why we never ever recommend two puppies at once. So bring one up and then bring the other one up, get your training right, go to the right socialization classes, puppy schools and those kind of things. And if you have your grounding level for them as youngsters, you've got a good dog for a very long time. So yeah. it's, it's very good to put the training and the effort into them when they are obviously When they are small. Themselves. How old are the youngsters that's lying here? They're 12 weeks now. And mom over there? She's five. Can we see her? I want to see Charlie. how big she really is. Charlie, come. Okay, that's a really big dog. Um, the adult bitches grow to about 68 centimeters at the wither, whereas the males can get up to 72. That's kind of what you're looking at, okay. at, a, at a size wise. And I mean, how safe are they around children? I mean, you have a personal story around you being a baby and how you started being a breeder initially. Dobermans grown up with children are really, really fantastic. <laughs> but obviously, um, <laughs> children have to learn to also um, respect dogs as well, not yeah. climb all over them and whatever. So growing up with children, they are the absolute um, ideal companion for children. Um, my dog, when I was born, she used to protect me from my mother and stop my mom giving me a hiding, for example. So that's why I really got involved with them. Yeah. Are they loyal dogs? Do they protect you? I mean, just looking at the history of the Doberman itself. Um, it's in their nature to guard and protect, and they want to own and protect the family. So yes, it is very much part, yeah. of, their, part of their lifestyle. Well, listen, it's exciting having them here. I have a personal story about Dobermans as a child, and this definitely, it, it made me overcome my fear, you know, because I've never been bitten, but it's always exciting to be around a dog, and you can see that they can be good to you, or that they are behavioral dogs, or even though they're excitable, it's in every possible good way. Well, the one thing that makes me excited is the fact that Bobtail is giving away the chance to win a Land Rover Defender 110, and also one million rands worth of family activities. So think of boxing, and kayaking, and horse riding, and much, much more. And all 
you have to do is to uh, take any participating Bobtail promotional dry food bag. Uh, you need to SMS the last four digits uh, of the barcode on the swing tag to 40511. So head to any pick and pay store and make sure you grab any of their participating swing tags and you could be a winner. Of course, our competition closes on the 30th of September, so I wouldn't want you to miss out at all. Do they stay indoors with you? Yes, they do. They're very much an indoor dog. How many, how many, uh, I'm looking at them and how fully grown they are. Do you go through a lot of food with 18 dogs? Um, yes, we do. But you have minders, you have babysitters. Yes, we do. We have, <laughs> we, have, we have minders and babysitters for the dogs now. Can she bark? Um, she, won't, she won't bark on command, but she does know how to bark, yes. Okay, we won't try and let her bark at this stage, but thank you for bringing them in and our babies as well. We'll be back after the break. I'm taking over, literally. Catlejo's got nothing on Bob. Bobtail, SA's most loved dog food for strong South African dogs. Yeah.